Hey, it's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. Kanye West wants to change how the world views clothing. While pricing was a point of contention in his recent war with Gap, Kanye hopes to one day make his garments free to the public. Kanye revealed that he plans to bring manufacturing back home to the United States for pieces sold in the U.S. during a recent hour-long conversation with Forbes. Kanye wants everything in his Yeezy supply stores to start off at the price point of $20. Ye said, when it's sold in America, it'll be made in America. And when it's sold in China, it'll be manufactured in China. So the glasses will cost $20 and everything in the Ye supply store will be $20. And we're working on how to make clothing free because life is free. It's our responsibility and pleasure to turn these dreams into reality, to simplify things and to provide more room for people to imagine, not constricting or enforcing ideas. Now, even though Ye terminated his his deal with Gap, he's still leaving the door open to co-parent his Yeezy products with Adidas in the future if they are willing to meet him in the middle on a few guidelines. He said, and this is where Adidas and I are. There's a possibility we can co-parent products that we make, but not in a way where I'm not getting say-so over colorways and they're treating me like I'm dead. And to see bags in the Times Square store at the number one prime real estate located in the world where any company with the stores would want that store, it was the first time that Gap's comps were up since 2013. I talked to the board, they looked at me like I was on mute. Now in 2020, Kanye told Joe Rogan that he suggested to Adidas that the Yeezy foam runner should cost $20 instead of the $90 retail price the apparel giant elected to go with. So Kanye does promise that his forthcoming Yeezy Gap sunglasses will be priced firmly at $20 and are still coming soon, even though his deal with Gap has been terminated. So what do you think about Kanye's new clothing ambitions? Do you think he will actually be able to price everything at $20? And do you think he'll eventually make it free? Let us know in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast, and stay locked in to Hip Hop DX.